Now, the majority of the Privileges Committee wants the seat of the Dominic Kwabanya MP, Sarah Josepho, to be declared vacant. Per copies of the Privileges Committee report that has been laid and cited by John News, the majority say that she failed, given that she failed to take advantage of the opportunities afforded her to render an explanation for her absence, her seat should be declared vacant. Parliamentary correspondent Kweku Asante joins me via Zoom with more on this. Kweku, so we know that the draft report that was circulated among members of the committee is now materially different from what was laid in the House on Monday. Tell us more. So, Ernest, um, according to the draft uh, report of the committee that we saw, what the committee recommended at the time was that Sarah Joseph had simply failed to show up in Parliament to offer an explanation in terms of why exactly she was absent and leaves it at that. But now the new report that has now been made in Parliament actually goes on to say that by virtue of her failing to appear before the committee, a seat is vacant automatically. It doesn't even say that Parliament will have to take a certain decisions on that. And so we'll get into those details shortly. But let me run you through the details of the report as you have seen, first from Honorable Kennedy in Japan. So Kennedy in Japan told the committee that he was not feeling well and that, let me quote, he had an excruciating and pre uh, predicated on a, and an existing medical condition. He says his condition was occasional and unanticipated. And because of this, he could not come to parliament. The, 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 he's been explaining that his doctor's advice was that he should take a break for six months from parliament, but he did not take the advice. When the committee members asked him why he did not take that advice of the, of the doctor, he said that he wanted to be patriotic, he wanted to serve his nation. Mm -hmm. And so he went on, and then the committee asked him if he was feeling so or well, why did he not ask his personal assistant to fill in an absence of leave request for him? He said he did not have a personal assistant at all in parliament, and then the committee said, then why couldn't he pick up his phone and call the majority that or any members of the leadership to try and negotiate and get this done? He said the pain that he had was so numbing that he could not even make calls or receive calls. At the end of the day, the committee decided that his, his explanation made sense, and so he has been pardoned. Okay. When it came to Honorable Henry Corti, mm. the Ayawaso, Ayawaso Central Member of Parliament, as well as the Greater Crown Regional Minister, the committee asked also why he was absent. He also explained that he was not feeling well and that the Speaker of Parliament had actually given him permission to travel outside the country. Okay. And that not only had the Speaker of Parliament given him permission to travel outside the country, Parliament itself as an institution was the one footing the bill for his, medic, for, 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 his medic, for his medication and what about treatment that came with it, the, his, his medical situation. Mm -hmm. The committee then tried to find out that even though the speaker might have given you permission to travel, that is different from seeking permission to be absent. He said he did not know that he had to do that. He thought that once the speaker had given him that permission to travel, then it synchronized at effect. Mm -hmm. The committee still then decided that by majority decision, his explanation also made sense. So in, ter in terms of these two MPs, another majority decision decided that the explanation made sense and that they should be public. Okay. When it came to Sarah Adwasapo, however, the committee tried on several occasions. The committee said, and let me run to you what exactly the committee said it did. The committee served her through the office in Parliament. Mm -hmm. The committee served her through her pigeonhole also in Parliament. Okay. The Ministry of Gender and Social Protection, while she's the minister, they served her an invitation through that ministry. They also sent her through her email that has been registered with Parliament, as well as a WhatsApp number that Parliament has. When they were still unable to reach her, the committee decided that they were going to publish her invitation in the National Daily. They published it in the Daily Graphic, Ghanaian Times, as well as other major media houses taking that also. The MPs still did not take the opportunity to come. And so they are concluding, and let me read what they say, that Honorable Sarah Joasafu failed to take advantage of the numerous opportunities and facilities offered her to provide reasonable explanation to the Committee on Privileges with regard to her absence without leave. Therefore, pursuant to Article 971 c of the 1992 Constitution and a Court of Appeal decision in the case of Professor Stephen Asare, Attorney General and three others, 
the dumb cabinet seat is automatically vacant okay. by operation of law. Okay. So you segregate it, the two MPs that they are pardoning, and Sarah Joa Safusi, that they want declared wow. vacant. They don't mm. want new one parliament to take a decision on it. They say this is too much. Kweku, when is the report expected to be debated and voted on? It was expected that the report would have been taken by now. And it is instructive to know that the majority, the MPP majority side, do not think the House should take any decision on it. They do not think this should even elicit a debate. They think the report of the Privileges Committee is final. The other school of thought from the minority, as well as the Speaker of Parliament himself, is that the, com the Committee on Privilege is a committee of Parliament. They work for the whole Parliament. And so if you do a work for us, you bring it to us for us to take a decision on it. It should be instructive to know what the Speaker now decides. The House is mm -hmm. taking a break tomorrow. Mm -hmm. We don't know if the report will be taken. The inkling I'm getting is that this is a numbers game. And given the Speaker's insistence, that they have to vote on this. If it comes to a vote, the majority may not have the numbers to be able to win and take Sarah Joseph out, if it comes to a match. But they are insisting, and I, I spoke to the Deputy Speaker and the Chairman of the Committee, who says, it does not even know why the Clerk of Parliament, Cyril Insia, has not written to the Electoral Commission to declare Sarah Joseph for seat vacant. I should well, note, and it's finally, yeah. that the minority say that the report, as it is captured now, does not reflect the agreement they have there. And that if this hits the floor, they're going to debate it, they're going to tell the speaker that this is not what they agreed on in, in, in committee, and that they are in, their inputs have not been taken up by the chairman of the committee, as well as the clerk. Thank you very much. Let's see how this pans out.